Well, scrolling through your social media channels these days provoke a lot of emotions and can even seem a bit overwhelming or stressful. Yeah, mental health therapist uh, Sherry Rucker joining us live this morning to offer some tips on maintaining your mental health while using social media. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Well, it would seem that uh, at first glance, all you have to do is just not look at it, right? right but, but that's not that simple. Yeah, it's not that easy to, to distance yourself from social media. Not at all. Talk a little bit more just about, you know, what you're seeing and what you're hearing when it comes to social media these days and, and why it is so hard, first of all, for people to kind of put that away. Well, what I'm hearing, first of all, is that social media is causing an increased amount of anxiety and depression among adults, adolescents, and children. They feel like they need to be connected. Um, they want the information. Sometimes they don't want it, and they just feel like they have to be in the know. Mm -hmm. And so trying to unplug from that becomes very hard because you feel like you need to know what's going on at all times. So pre-COVID, it was already in the works. And now that we're during this pandemic, it has increased um, substantially. And I would imagine, too, the anxiety is at an all-time high, especially with so div how divided this yeah. country is during a political year. Yes, it is. Um, anxiety, I mean, referrals are coming in left and right. And it's important that people are able to identify um, exactly what anxiety is, what it looks like, and what are the triggers. Um, so for anxiety, you have this irritability and you don't know where it's coming from. You're restless, you're keyed up, you're having um, problems concentrating, sleep disturbance, um, fatigued all the time. And so your body starts to experience these physical symptoms such as shortness of breath, um, feeling that your chest is heavy, you start to shake, you might even start to see the vision changes, and when you don't know what that is, then fear sets in, and the anxiety increases. So when do you know when it's time for finally someone to maybe, that they might need a little more help, whether it's adults or even, like you said, adolescents um, or, or children as well? Well, we would hope that um, first, that one of our support systems would be able to say, hey, something doesn't seem right, you seem a little bit off. But in situations where you don't have that support system and it's just you, it's important to know it's time to seek help when you're unable to keep up with day-to-day -day tasks, when your hygiene starts to suffer, like you haven't had a shower in a week, you're not combing your hair, you're not getting out of bed, um, and it starts to affect your work, your home life, and your day-to-day -day functions. It's time. If you're having suicidal thoughts and behaviors or making a plan of um, possible suicide or having increased thoughts of death, it's definitely time to seek help. And just real quick, before we go, I don't have much time left, but I just wanted to mention when we, when we did talk to you earlier, you mentioned about when it comes to social media about going into your bubble for a couple days. And I really liked that idea. If you can just share that quickly with, with our viewers. Yeah, so I have like an information diet. And so when I say I go into my bubble, that means no social media, that means no news. I go into self-preservation. And so sometimes I don't need to know everything. I turn off notifications of my social media so they're not dinging and binging at me. I put space between my phone and my body. I just get up and I leave it. I stay in that bubble for as long <laughs> as I can. And when I feel like I can come out, then I do. So I've been in my bubble for a little bit now, so I'm coming back out today. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate your time and your advice, and we will get um, all of your information posted to if people would like to reach out for you. Thanks again. Thank you so much for having me. Yep.